KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. It seems so promising. Paramedics in paradise, with the governor touting the launch of her first ever paramedic training program for Guam. School of EMS is the accredited paramedic program, um, and we're using, we're partnering with GCC to use the mm -hmm. facilities and the equipment to do the hands-on training. When I became governor, that was the first thing that I said to uh, Dan, even when I interviewed him. What are your plans for bringing paramedics to our island? The key takeaway from this paramedic program, upon successful completion of it, National Paramedic Certification for Graduates. It is a nationally accredited EMS program. When we graduate our people here, they are going to be at the same level as any other paramedics in the United States. The paramedic program starting in May of 2020 with 36 Guam Fire Department firefighters. It is a challenging course. It's not an easy course. Uh, uh, the amount of time it takes on top of the COVID responses and the, how much they're working, it, they have to be commended for what they're doing. It was smooth sailing until February of this year when GFD was notified that the accreditation for the School of EMS Guam Paramedic Program was being pulled. This means that local firefighters enrolled in the course will no longer be nationally certified paramedics when they graduate. Instead, they'll be allowed to take the national certification exam, but even if they pass, because Guam's paramedic program is no longer accredited, they won't be nationally certified. This has got program participants like firefighter Angel Ilagas fired up. It is uh, pretty depressing and disappointing that we're not gonna get uh, the badge of honor, but I mean, a lot, of you, a lot of us are really upset about it. The students started getting bummed out and we're kind of uh, upset and depressed at the same time, but mainly upset. Burrier, however, downplayed the national certification, which is granted by the National Registry of Emergency Medical Technicians upon completion of an accredited program. Even without that gold patch, the education they're receiving is, is invaluable. There are 24 firefighters left in the program, and while Burrier says enrollment dropped because of deployments and other commitments students had, Ilaga said many dropped out of the program because at the end of the day, without national certification, the program just wasn't worth it anymore. But Burrier said if the accreditation issues are solved, graduates of the program may be granted certification in a couple years. The situation has Burrier and the local emergency medical services board working on a solution. The end game and what everybody's striving for is that we still get them licensed locally as paramedics. It gets even more complicated. The AG's office says the law currently doesn't allow for the local licensing of paramedics, so Burrier said a committee formed by the EMS board is looking for a way forward. We're looking at uh, the proper pathways that we need to do, and we're, we have a committee that uh, is working on that law specifically. We're meeting every week. We're processing um, and, and comparing and looking at other laws in the states. And while national paramedic certification for program participants seems to be up in smoke, Ilaga said quitting is not an option. The most we can do is actually just drive on and finish the course. However, like you were mentioning, we don't get the NRT certification. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports.